This cost 98 cents. Wow. Hey guys, this is Gerald and welcome back to another video. As we all know, times are tough. We need to save money. And I've been trying to save money in my own little ways by eating as cheap as I can. Like, I try to eat 250 meals, you know, the famous ananas 250 chicken, me chicken rice meals, kind of. And at some point of time, I realized, you know, we or I need to start eating healthy. I mean, 250 chicken rice is great, it's cheap, but that's not a solution forever, right? So I kind of need to think, how can I eat healthy? And I started to realize maybe, just maybe, I should consider eating healthy. But at the same time, I do not want to spend like a bomb, a huge amount of money to eat healthy. And I, I did a quick Google search to realize, hey, you know, how much does it cost to make the healthy meal? Heck, you know what? Let's make the cheapest healthy meal that I can find. I try to make save as much money as I can. Uh, and so, wow, it is that expensive. That's right. Uh, Eating healthy can cost o almost ten dollars, and that's insane. Like compared to the two fifty meals, come on, like everyone eat two fifty, right? I think, no. Anyways, so then I started to, to to realize I can't really find any sort of answers to eating healthy, and I decided, you know what? Let me just create. Let me just take on this challenge to find ways to create the cheapest possible healthy meal, and here it is. So the goal of this video is I want to create a very cheap and healthy meal that is as cheap as if not cheaper than the 250 meals that I find outside uh, I mean that's my goal that I want to achieve so whether I can do it or not I'm not exactly sure but I will definitely do my best and if I can do my best and bring down the price significantly I would have created the, the world's cheapest healthy meal yeah but then some of you might be asking why do I even need to eat so cheaply why do I need to you know spend so little on food well the reason is that if I can find ways to stretch my dollar to spend a lot less on daily necessities like food the first thing is i can feel a lot more secure like i know that with the little savings that i have <laughs> i can last significantly longer because i can stretch my dollar i don't need i don't need that much money to survive that makes me feel a lot more financially secure and i'm sure it probably help a lot of you guys to feel the same and the second reason is that i need my money to compound to grow right but how do i do that if i don't save a lot of money so if i can save on food which is what I do I eat every day I can save on food that helps me retire significantly faster right so two big benefits so by creating this video I really genuinely hope I can help you guys feel a lot more confident in going through this extremely difficult time because I know it's really difficult for some of us that is has lost like 90% of our income like right here and if you want to help other people please do me a big favor and share this video and tell them to subscribe to this channel because that will help them out. And only by working together will we be able to get through this extremely difficult time. So when I first started, I kind of need to understand what a healthy meal is because I don't understand nutrition that well. So I kind of needed to do research. And here's what I found that nutrition or a healthy meal, that means you need to balance three big things or you need to get sufficient amount of three different things. The first is your macros, the second is your micros, and then the third is water. That made me realize that it's a lot harder to create a healthy meal, a lot harder than I thought. I thought, you know, I could probably come up with research, create a spreadsheet, uh, create a list, list, create a list of different things and just tally them up and then create a cheap, healthy meal. So the first is that there's so many things you need to take care of, so many vitamins, so many uh, micros that you need to care about on a daily basis. And secondly, when you go to the supermarket, you are I was overwhelmed with thousands of different products. So how do I know, how do I mix and match the cheapest possible way? And it was so difficult. So what I decided to do was to get uh, the help of my brother, Bernard, and he, he's gonna help us create this cheapest possible meal or the world's cheapest meal. So I'm gonna bring Bernard in right now. All right, so here we have Bernard, my brother, who is going to become a doctor, hopefully. Hopefully, and yeah, he's gonna bring us through like what is the cheapest healthy meal that we can make because it is so incredibly complex. Like any of you who tried researching a uh, healthy meal would know that it's so, so, so difficult. There's so many things to consider and yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna steal Bernard's slime like, so I'm gonna hand over to Bernard and yeah, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is all in one cut. Yeah. Oh wow, 
Okay, uh, thank you very much uh, for tuning in. If you haven't already, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. So as Jared has mentioned, yes, uh, food information, dietary information is quite complex. If you go online, you see a lot of conflicting information. And it's made even more complex if you have health conditions. So what I'm recommending today is not by any means professional dietary advice. It's just a suggestion for potential exploration and if I got you interested, you need to figure out more about what you want to eat and if you're actually looking for professional dietary advice, do seek a dietitian or actually consult your doctor. So with that being said, let's get right to it. Diet consists of three main things, macronutrients, micronutrients and water. So what we will be focusing on this recipe is the macronutrients because these, these macronutrients are what people need. In larger amounts to survive and micronutrients would naturally be covered if you have a balanced diet so um, this recipe that I'll be showing you would cover is basically how to cover your macronutrients uh, without being too miserable at a low cost mm, so if we refer to the healthhub.sg a very legitimate website by the government on what you should be eating and what you shouldn't uh, they refer they actually take references from the United States Department of Agriculture, uh, the Dietary Reference Intake Manuals. And according to those manuals, these, this recipe would have reached 25 to 30% of your recommended daily allowance, which would cover the average sedentary 2,200 mil, uh, mil person uh, caloric intake requirement. So without much delay, let's get right to it. All right, let's go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what we'll be making is a beautiful, healthy, mixed vegetable brown fried rice that serves two portions. We're by no means professional, as you can see, but we obviously have fun cooking. Alright, so we're going to play the Gordon Ramsay B-roll. <laughs> what we'll need is 135 grams of brown rice, 350 grams of frozen mixed vegetables. This is definitely not the cheapest brand because the cheapest brand ran out of stock. So for this, I'm going to use the more expensive one. If you want the cheapest one, the link is down below. Two eggs, three cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of oil, three tablespoons of soy sauce. All right, with that out of the way, let's start cooking. So first, we're gonna prepare 350 grams of the mixed vegetables. So you kinda need to learn how to uh, weigh them accurately if you wanna be extra healthy. Uh, so this is how you weigh them. Not like this, uh, but you get the idea. You're a smart person. Next, you gotta chop the garlics. So all three cloves. Next, we need to crack the eggs. Give it a nice little whisk. Oil in. Make sure the pan is nice and hot, eggs down, let it, s I don't know, how, how does Gordon do this? <laughs> now for the rice, then fry the garlic, stir them well, mix vegetables in, give them a nice stir, make sure that, I don't know, they're all well cooked, even though they are kind of pre-cooked. Then rice in, make it look cinematic, beautiful looking rice, <laughs> eggs down, mix well, as in the constituent of the one, this is from uh, US Food Department of Agriculture website, can you see uh, once the rice starts jumping around on its own, you see, 
Let me just ready. For this, we have the soy sauce. We get three tablespoons. And voila, there you have it. Beautiful, healthy, fragrant, brown fried rice. And all that's left is the taste test. And enjoy. <laughs> well, there you have it guys. This is the cheapest healthy meal that I could make. And it is not the healthiest meal but it is significantly healthier than the $2.50 chicken rice that I used to eat and with that said this cost 98 cents wow but of course we can't be expected to eat this all the time so what Bernard did was that he was nice enough to create two different dishes that are under or that are two dollars and under and i'm going to leave all of them down and x in an excel file or google sheets down in the description below so if you want to learn how to make those recipes just head down to the google sheets below click on the link and go and check it out for yourself so ben has been very nice to help us out in this video and just to give a quick shout out ben is planning to make like a balanced breakfast kind of website still in progress uh but just wanted to let you guys know in advance and with that said a balanced diet is really important so do make sure to eat a variety of food including this if it's helpful and do let me know how much this meal costs in your country down in the comment section below and if you haven't already do me a big favor and hit the like button if this video is helpful for you and with that said i will see you around in the next video take care guys